Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable yet another new dialog UI in Windows 11. Microsoft seems to be adding more and more dialogues with dark mode and redesigned in the newest dev channel builds. Well, in this build, we have a new redesigned UI dialog for the go back to an earlier build menu. Let me show you how it looks right now. So I'm going to go into the settings app and then I'm going to type in here reset, then click on reset this PC and you're going to see here the section go back. If this version isn't working, try uninstalling the latest update. Date. If you click on go back, you will have this menu. Of course, this is the old menu. And further on in this video, I'm going to show you how the redesigned menu looks. Right now, it looks the same as in Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, Windows 10. So it doesn't really have anything special, doesn't go hand in hand with the Windows 11 experience. So I'm going to show you how to enable the redesigned menu in Windows 11. If you enjoy videos like these where I show you how to enable different hidden features, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. Of course, we're going to use Vive tool. Just download Vive tool from the down link in the article below in the video's description, the first link. Download the latest version.zip. You can open it using the default file explorer. Click on extract all. Click on browse and then locate the system32 location in this PC, local disk C, Windows. Scroll down to system32 selected. Click on select folder. Click on extract and I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination. Click on continue a few times and I should be good to go. After Vive tool is set up on my computer, I'm going to have to open up the search box, type in here CMD, and then click on run as administrator. In the CMD, I'm going to have to run two different commands in order for that new dialog UI to be enabled. The first command will be this one, vive tool slash enable slash ID 2.36390579. Of course, these commands will be in the article below in the video description, so you can just copy and paste them from there. You should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. And then the second command, vive tool slash enable slash ID 2.416. 7000 and then 3. Press enter. If you receive the message successfully set feature configuration, you should be good to go. You can now exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, if we open up the settings app, type in here reset real quick, click on reset this PC, and then we click on go back in this section. We're going to see already that we have a new dialog UI with rounded corners, with a dark mode, and uh, nice little buttons for the reason or for more options in this section. I think this looks really cool. And I'm really glad that Microsoft is redesigning old menus like this one. One menu that I would like to see Microsoft redesign in Windows 11 would be the copying or moving menu that appears whenever you're copying or moving something in your operating system. That would be really cool. If we had a dark mode for that, it would be absolutely nice. But this is how you can enable this new menu for going back to an earlier build in Windows 11. Don't forget that the download link for Vive tool and the commands used in this video will be in the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. In the next few days, we're going to have many more new features that I'm going to show you how to enable, so stay tuned. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.